Welcome to Christian Flourishing, where we motivate you with God's word. I would like you to take your popcorn, your coffee, or whatever you're taking to watch this video to the end. There has been a lot on the internet. Why do Christ ambassadors sing like this? Why do they minister like this? Why they don't dance? Why the man of God, Pastor Chris, don't allow them to dance? So this is a video you go to watch by the DSA. That is the head music director of Christ ambassador churches all over the world so listen to her and while she explained there's a new series that she's doing on her instagram page i'll put the link under this video please watch this video today and subscribe and we will see you in our next upload don't don't forget we're going to put some music at the end to change and bless your life forever so i started this series on praise and worship and the response has been wow everyone sending me dms asking more questions and more questions and some people think we've taken this praise worship seriousness too far and they tell you things like praise worship you have to express yourself i mean it's between you and god yeah it's between you and god the thing that separates what i know or what we know and what you think you know is the fact that we know that praise is a sacrifice hebrews 13 verse 15 bible lets us know that we must continually offer praise as a sacrifice from our lips and the old testament and before this time sacrifices were offered as bulls and calves and rams and just imagine if you were still supposed to pay or give sacrifices like that now for everything you do well guess what christ jesus our lord was the perfect sacrifice and it is through him and in him and in his name that we offer these praises so everything has been made easy he broke down the wall. He's our peace that mediated us. So we don't have to bring any bull. The bull now is the words we speak. Is the content of our praise and our sacrifice. It's a sacred thing. I mean, maybe it's that more sacred in your psyche, in your mind, if you were taking a bull or taking a calf or taking a ram. But you're not. You're saying word. When I hear people doing hey, 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 and they say they're present and worshiping God. What is hey, hey, hey? What language is that? What does it say? Because everything you do with God must be intentional. Come with words. In Hosea, the Bible tells us to come to God with words from your heart. That is how you thank God. That is how you praise Him. That is how you give Him worship. Everything that God does is through words. He wanted to create the world. He spoke. You want to receive salvation. You spoke. You want to get married. You spoke. Um, what else? You want to receive anything. You speak. <laughs> the same thing. You want to praise God. You speak. And you say exactly what you mean. Now, I'm talking about words today. That's another day's topic. Somebody asked me, Pastor Chris taught you, said, no more dancing, no more clapping. That's why I just even got tired of you guys. I'm like, really? And they gave me the scripture. Oh, Psalm 47 says, clap your hands, oh, you people. Shout unto God with a voice of triumph. So if it's in the Bible, why are you not clapping? And why are you not dancing? Okay, so now let me answer that question. When you clap, what do you do? Have you found that meaning of clapping? Why do you clap? When do you clap? You clap when you are celebrating or approving. When people clap is when they are saying, Wow, bravo, you did great. That is when you clap. Okay, so we did all these things before now. We clapped, we danced because we felt we were doing God a favor. Does it make sense doing God a favor by praising him? No, he is God all by himself. We can't be approving God. He was here before existence started existing. He created time. He is eternity. We can't be approving him. Oh, even the thought of it makes me shiver. No, that is why he asked Cain and Abel to present sacrifices before him. Abel's own was taken. Why? Because Abel's sacrifice was specified and it was received because he knew exactly what god wanted and he went for it now god is saying the sacrifices from your lips i remember the lord jesus christ those are my one that there come a time when those that worship the father will worship him in spirit and in truth so when you're worshiping god the creator god the king of kings and lord of lords you're not approving him you are in awe in reverence in humility the consciousness of who he is is before you you don't just do what you like. Let me ask you a question. When it comes to dancing, for example, what kind of dance will you dance today that would be a sacrifice to God? What name? Is it Makosa, Etigi? Which one that you learned today in the flesh that we don't know which tribal deity, libation to a one God brought that dance that you want to give to God as a sacrifice? Have you thought about it? Of course, our Lord Jesus Christ danced. David danced. But we saw that they danced in the spirit it was a spiritual thing most of the time the kind of dances that we saw david dancing it was spiritual it cost a stare the one that the lord jesus christ that it was upward motion 
it was a spiritual thing. And now, because we cannot judge what spirits control some of these dances, we can't just start dancing for God as a sacrifice. You've been to Israel, I have been there. You see the way they pray, you see the way they do like this, you know? There was no one that they were twisting waist and doing like this on the stage. No, the problem that we have is that many people bring their characteristics and their ideas from the world into the church, and that should not be. The last days are here. Our Lord Jesus Christ is coming soon. There are things we used to do before, that needs to stop now. Our minds should be, what does God want? If God tells you what he really wants, will you do it? How would you do it? Even if he was right in front of you, what are you going to do? How are you going to challenge yourself? What are you going to say to him? Are you going to be dancing and shaking your body and shaking your waist and pleasing yourself? No, you won't. Remember I told you before in the last video, I said the tabernacle was not for preaching. It was not for doing any other thing than offering sacrifices. So like in our church now, we do 24 hours praise and worship. It's on right now as so I'm speaking to you. It's called unending praise. Continuous sacrifice has been given. You giving that sacrifice is a portion of your heart towards God. You need to remove anything that your flesh will enjoy. The focus is what will please God. This song I'm about to sing, I want God to hear it and I want him to be pleased. If you were talking to someone you love and you wanted to express yourself to him and the person is doing, hey, whatever kind of dance what would you say you will think the person is not being serious so if you've been in your human desire think that when somebody wants to talk to you there should be a composure some people will look at me dead in the eye and tell me what you're telling me if you can demand that from someone in front of you what about god almighty your father just because he's loving doesn't mean he doesn't deserve the best he deserves and is worthy of the best of us at every time so whether we have been doing it for 300 years the wrong way you've heard me say this now the end is near and you must do the right thing in the bible we see scriptures that tells us to lift our hands i mean psalm 134 says lift up your hands in the sanctuary and praise the lord we see in first Timothy chapter 2 verse 3 it says therefore i want men everywhere to pray lifting up holy hands without anger or disputing there are many places in the bible where we see lifting up of heads bowing down of heads and um, kneeling down to worship, but clapping, dancing, it was rejoicing, party. Now, I'm not saying dancing is wrong. No, dance, clap, but not in praising God. It is neither praise nor worship. The Bible says, set your affection on him. That's why when we had praise worship before now, there was no power in it. Um, we just had to express ourselves and do all that shouting. And then people can praise God and feel bad afterwards. But in this one, where you are focusing your mind on only God, your energy, your singing, your voice, your attention, everything, even your dressing is based on what God wants. Hmm. When you're done. I wish I could just give each one of you a hug, you know? I love you. I love you and I thank God for you.